there. Lorinda Carr here for Daily Vibe Check. It is Thursday, January 7th. And we are going to see what Spirit wants us to know for today. The last couple days have been really good cards. Um, I'm hoping that we kind of continue that trend. I typically try to, even the ones that don't feel good, I try to at least find the uh, gifts in the chaos, as Dana likes to say. Um, find the positives. So, all right. So, as I mentioned in um, one of my other videos, I'm on the, on the hunt for new ideas for videos. Um, I've been doing a daily vibe check for a while now. I should be close to actually having 100 videos posted for this, for this daily vibe check. Um, and I was thinking about going a different direction, but I can't decide what direction yet. So let me know your thoughts. What do you think? What, what kind of readings would you want to see on here? Um, I, I don't believe in making them super long. Although I, I'm, apparently if I don't have like 30 minute videos, I'll never be monetized because whatever, but that's not my goal. I just want to like, yeah, I figure if I'm going to be pulling cards to figure out my daily vibe, then at least you guys can know too. I can let you in on it too. But I'd love to hear your thoughts or your ideas for different types of readings. Okay, so let's see. What does Spirit want us to know today? Ten of Pentacles. Man, another good card. Ten of Pentacles is amazing. Um, it is receiving money that you didn't necessarily earn. So, um, so a good example would be um, some of you might be receiving your stimulus checks. Um, you may be, maybe you get a, a rebate check in the mail um, that, so you didn't actually go out and earn that money. The, the rebate came back to you. Okay, stimulus doesn't count because you probably did earn that money and you paid in taxes, you're just getting it back like as a little kick up, you know. Anyway, so the, the Ten of Pentacles is a very fortunate card. It can be financial because pentacles typically are financial, but not always, as I like to say. It's it's what is what is your currency? What means a lot to you? So, what is very valuable to you? So there's something that comes to you. Sometimes it can be an inheritance. Um, if you have an old Aunt Tilly that lives in Finland that you didn't even know existed or no one knew existed and you're like the last living relative and you get a check in the mail that says, hey, by the way, you're Aunt Tilly's heir and she had a million dollars that she's giving you. Excellent. This might be the day you get it. Who knows? So let's see if there's another card to go along with that. Okay. The Nine of Swords reversed. I love this too because upright, the Nine of Swords represents anxiety. You can see that she's like got her head in her hands and is very stressed out. When it's reversed, it's the end of that anxiety. So whatever this this windfall is, that's another good another good word for this card. Whatever this windfall is, um, it's going to help end some of this anxiety that you might be having. Um, so yeah, this is like a really good week. And you know, I remember my psychic telling me, um, yes, I have a regular psychic I go to a couple times a year. I love her. Been going to her for almost eighteen years now. Yeah, almost 18 years and like every year like twice a year and sometimes she knows who I am and sometimes she doesn't but that's how it works it's hilarious um, she told me starting in January I start seeing a nice kick up in the finances so I'm hoping this holds true for me that'd be awesome um, and and as well for you all um, you know that that's part of the whole age of Aquarius beginning of the age of Aquarius and coming into this this new year and the new month and um, this new whole entire vibration, this new age, is that we're going to start seeing a shift in finances. That's that's part of it, seeing a shift in finances. And also, um, you know, I think we as a society are starting to value more as a result of COVID and everything else going on. So I feel like we have decided in our lives, we don't, we're realizing we don't need as much. So when we you know, if we get an extra $10, it's not like, well, okay, well, I got to pay off all this, da, 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 because I have to have this, this, and this, and this. We're realizing that we can live with less. And so when we get money, it's kind of like, oh, cool, I can actually save some of this money because I don't need all the extra. So that's one way to look at it. But yes, yeah, so I love this, this continuing trend of, of positive, positive, super positive um, cards this, this week. So I hope we keep this up. I'm digging this. Um, all right, so click the subscribe if you haven't. We have a sign session coming up. It's $30 and um, limited seating. 
every single person who signs up gets a reading from Dana, Angie, and myself. Um, we do tarot, we do um, oracle, I do mediumship work, so sometimes we get messages from the other side from loved ones um, and from spirit, um, and some, you know, validations, and basically also just, con you know, proof of the continuity of life beyond here. Um, so it's always fun. So check that out at uh, www.messagesfromtheotherside.weebly.com. You can register at sign sessions. Um, might want to sign up quick. We always sell out, always sell out. And that, the next one is January 17th. We only allow, it's either 10 or 12 people. I think just 10 for the, for the paid one. We only do like allow 10 people. So that way everyone can get a really good reading and not be there for like hours on end. But it's always a really fun time. All right, that's all I have for you. I've got to get ready to teach my whole dance gig, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.